Hi, this is Mary from Reviewer's Diary, and I have yarn. Um, I'm actually sharing this so that I can hurry up and put some of it in my bag to take downstairs with me. Those of you who watch me know um, that I am going for surgery. The surgery on my left foot is pretty extensive, and that's the first foot that's going to be addressed. I'm hoping I'm only stuck non-weight bearing downstairs for a month, but I just need to make sure that I have some craft stuff to keep me busy. So anyway, I first want to start with this. I did join the um, knit club. Um, this is uh, Mary Maxim because I saw this pattern and I had to have it. <laughs> of course, it's a beautiful girl on the cover. that. That certainly helps but what's in there and I know from watching other people do the unboxing first of all I like that these come in zip bags because then you can use them as your project bag so um, yeah I really like this it comes with two balls of yarn that are variegated and one is for a hat so just, I know you guys have seen this a thousand times from other um, people, but this is what the yarn looks like. It's just freaking beautiful. Oh, and it is much softer than I expected it to be. There are two balls of that. And this is the pattern that that is supposed to make. Now, this is a double scarf. So, um, what I'm thinking is... I'm just going to show you the picture. It's double like that. So what I'm thinking is I might be able to make two cowls out of this. One for each, one skein for each one. I'm thinking about it. Not, not positive. And I really do like this broken rib hat. Now I've seen this um, on other people's unboxings. And that's what this yarn is for. This is super soft. So I'm very excited to do these. I'm especially excited about this one. Now I'm going to show you the other thing, which is the yarn mystery box ba slash bag. <laughs> um, I watched a whole lot of these. Oops. I want to catch the yarn in the zipper. All right, put that away. I watched a lot of these before purchasing this, but there weren't very many that were posted that I could find that were very recent. Some, uh, I think the nearest one was maybe three or four months ago. So I decided to get it. I love it. I love everything in here already. Uh, I was looking for something that was variegated like this for a, and there's a lot of it. Uh, first of all, I had to wait for, um, I should not, I think there's copyright issues about these patterns. So let me just um, turn those. <clears throat> now, I'm sure some somehow there's enough to do a couple of projects in here. There are What I really love is there are bags of yarn, which to me tells me that it's going to be in the same. Oh my god. Is it? Is it? Oh my goodness. Um, this is so similar to the yarn in here that I might be able to make another cowl. Um, I have a lot of women on my list, so I definitely uh, want to make sure to take care of everybody. So, uh, Christmas. So, anyway, this I'm not sure what I would do with. It's very soft, um, and it's acrylic, which is nice, but it's not my favorite color. But it still is very nice. Green is just not my favorite color. Ever since I got the pound of yarn that is all green cotton, and I don't really like it. Um, this one is also cotton, but it actually has a pattern inside the label. That's one thing I look for in these, um, whether they have a pattern on the inside of the label that I can use, and it looks like this one does. So um, it's a tiny little thing. It's very fine. Uh, let's see. 
let me go back and just say this is a number four yarn. So it's your basic worsted yarn. So I have two of those. This one is also a number four. So it's it's nubby, but it's also just as thick as a worsted yarn. And this one is finer. This is premium, um, which I do see that a lot of people really like. And this is cotton blended with polyester, and it is number four. It does not look as heavy as that. It's really pretty thin, so I don't know that it really is that size, but I might take this downstairs with me because it's nice and compact and I can bring it in my knitting bag and, you know, have a, a great time. I do both, um, both crochet and knit. Oh my God, there are two of these. Oh my God. Um, so... You know, my mother taught me how to do all that, and thank you, Mom, I because now I know how to do both knit and crochet, but I'm not like a superstar in either one. I have made sweaters knit that had cables, and they're, um, most of my skill runs more in the knitting realm, but I do enjoy crochet because it works up a little bit faster. Okay, so these Laguna, oh my God, these are like soft, like, Oh my gosh, this is the softest yarn I've ever felt. This is also a number four. I think this might make a really nice uh, cowl. It's not enough to make anything other than like a simple, um, simple thing like a cowl, but man, oh my God, this is like, oh, it's so soft. Let's see, the label's slipping off this one, let's see. No, there's no pattern on the inside of the label. Um, this is like the softest yarn I've ever felt. It's like a faux fur finish. I think when it's done, it looks like faux fur. So uh, this might work up nicely um, for a cowl for my daughter, I'm thinking. That's really nice. Then there, the bagged yarn I know is going to be the same dye lot. And this is Lion Brand, which is one of my favorite brands. Oh, St. Saint, Saint Jude's. This is bagged, so there are three skeins, and it looks like there are patterns on, on the inside. They usually do have, but these are not, these are only three ounces, um, 85 grams, 145 yards, so they're not huge skeins, so they're just not going to work up to, you know, anything except an accessory um, so these are Banna's Choice I do love Lion Brand I've worked with Lion Brand for years and I, no no kitty no no, cat is irresistibly drawn to the yarn <laughs> um, I've worked with uh, Lion Brand materials for a long time and really do enjoy them now there are a couple variegated and they don't all match. They're not all going to be the same dye lot. Um, and you'll see in a second when I get them out. Let's see, what is the dye lot? Now this is not really the price. It's semen. Anyway, this is lot 3142. And this is also the same lot. How can that be? 3142. Hmm. Is this also? Yeah, 3142. 3142. Well, you know what? They say that they're all the same lot, but honestly, on visual look, it didn't seem like it, but um, this might be enough to actually make something. It's five skeins. Um, each skein is... Um, Let's see. This is from a different country. <laughs> I think it's I think it's German, but it's 100% acrylic. Uh, where's the? It looks like four to five. Um, and then there's a bunch of German. Um, 
Yeah, I'll have to look this up and see what I can see. I don't think there's any kind of pattern on the inside. No, there's nothing on the inside of the label. I've been looking for a variegated yarn to, believe it or not, make granny squares. I haven't made a granny square afghan in a long time. My mom had one that she absolutely loved and um, she, when she went to hospice, she actually took it with her. And then my brother took it home with him. Um, so everyone loved that blanket and my mom especially. This just is just not striking me as the same. What do you think? You know, you, you, you people out there who are yarnies and used to working with a lot of yarn, I, am, I, is, am I crazy or does this just seem like a different color? You know, uh, it, it just seems like, I know it's probably underneath, um, but it just seems like these three are lighter and these two are darker. So anyway, what I do is um, I usually make giant granny squares that go on and on and on. Um, now the one that I made my mom was separate granny squares and they were stained glass style, which is what I call it. I don't know what it's really called, but where you, no, 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 leave the yarn alone. <laughs> I'm getting cat spit on the yarn. Um, but where you, um, change the color every row with a variegated yarn, you don't have to do that. And what I was thinking, since I'm going to be stuck downstairs with the dog, recovering from my surgery, it'd be a lot easier for me to just crochet a whole bunch of them um, in different variegated yarns and then I can put it all together um, and make something nice for somebody for Christmas. So now there are four more skeins of yarn and these are super fine. I'm gonna say this is like a regular worsted weight. I don't see a number. Anyway, this is also from another country. Um, Bell Day, it's 50 grams, 200 meters. Um, it's super fine, like baby yarn. Handar Bait Scam. Anyway, Bell Day Home is what the brand manufacturer is. Um, I am making a bunch of preemie hats, but this is not soft like that. This is super fine though, like a baby yarn, but I'm not sure. I have to look this up and see um, what's out there that I can work on. Okay, and there were also patterns that were included. I don't know what the rules are as far as... Um, oh! Okay, um, lace throw, and this is six balls of aquarium. I don't think I have six balls of anything, do I? Yeah, well, and this is knit, and this clearly is a knit doily. Maybe that fine yarn will work well for that. I think that's probably why they gave this. Um, and it requires bamboo crochet thread. Aunt Lydia's. But it looks the same kind of fineness as this is. So, yeah. Unless everybody's getting the same patterns. Then there is this cowl. Um, and, yeah, this looks to be knit, mm, yep, and then this hat, which is one of those slouchy skater dude hats, I kind of like those, oh, and this I really do like, this I really like, okay. It's called Gray Shadows Scarf. Um, it looks like a giant granny square, actually. Hmm. That might be fun to uh, work on. So there, as you can see, I got a whole lot of patterns. And the yarn, now this doesn't count because this was a separate purchase, so we'll get rid of that. And yeah, the yarn is amazing. 
like my cat thinks it's amazing also so it's just debatable which one I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna want to work with first uh, let me know what you think let me know if you've recently gotten a bag and gotten some of this kind of stuff this I'm telling you is the softest thing I've ever felt um, I'm very excited about that. I'm not excited about these because I don't really like green and I, I am getting all kinds of green every everywhere I turn. Um, I used to like green but I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to actually do with that. I might actually make some hats or something with that. So, you know, with Christmas coming it's time to start thinking about the things that we can make for people that we love and I, I'm really thinking that while I'm laid up, I'll have the time to hopefully after the pain subsides, because I know it's going to be very painful. Um, but after the pain subsides, hopefully I'll be able to get some of this stuff made up. And this, I do like this little thing just appeals to me. I don't know. It's like a, I don't know why, but it really, really appeals to me. It's like a cute little compact thing of yarn. There is some color shift in it, so it's not just solid green, and it, it's just, I kind of like this a lot, so uh, I'll definitely enjoy making up whatever this is, and, you know, I'll let you know, and I'll show you, show and tell, maybe, if I get a lot done. I have not been very prolific lately, but ho I want to be. Let me know what you got in your um, mystery book box it apparently comes in a bag now uh and because i've seen a couple people pull it out of a regular envelope um it actually i don't want to disrupt the cap but it was actually in a poly mailer uh and this was inside it the uh, plastic so let me know what you got if you got any of the same stuff i had to wait for this so you know this didn't have they didn't have enough to make a mystery box yet so I was happy to hold on because now what a, that I see what I got, I'm very happy about that. So anyway, <clears throat> I want to be that person. Um, surgery didn't figure into my plans for the fall slash Christmas season. I um, wanted to be that person who has all the Christmas decorations up early and has everything very Christmassy. I don't think that's going to happen for me um, this year because of the surgery. Um, so, but I can certainly make some things for people I love. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now that I've done the unboxing, I can go ahead and start getting the stuff together so that I can bring it downstairs and and use it to work up things that I want to work on. So anyway, what that's really vague. Anyway, thank you very much and have a beautiful evening. Good night.